Welcome to this video on writing the research article, which is part of our series on publishing a research article. So what I'm going to suggest here is that we break up the writing process into different tasks. And then you can concentrate on specific, specific tasks. And what this does is that it allows you to unpack the complexity of a paper. And the idea is, is that you start with your initial thoughts and then build until you can integrate sections and, and write the paper as a whole. So the first layer that I would like you to focus on is the problem purpose statement. And this really is foundational because this is the conceptualization of the paper. If you have this clear in your mind, it'll make the paper much easier to write. The next step would be to examine the research article genre in your targeted journal. This means having a look at the different sections, the headings, and what goes into those sections. The next layer is the bare bones of the paper. This is the what, the what needs to go into this paper. What are the essentials that you need to have in this paper in order for your reader to understand your research? So what contents, what concepts do you need to explain? What definitions do you need to have in there? What descriptions? So the what is, is the content really? So what needs to go in your paper? So what you want to do is brainstorm this, uh, perhaps write a, a mind map and a free write, and decide what needs to go into your paper. The next layer is the narrative of the paper. And this really is about the story. How do I want to tell the story in this paper? So although you may have identified the overall structure and you know that you'll have an introduction and then a, a literature review and a methodology. The narrative is about how you will order each section. What needs to go first? Is there a logic to your research that you need to follow? So how do you want things to begin? How do you want them to end in each of these sections and overall across the paper? So ask yourself, how do I want to tell the story in this paper? The next layer is the argument. The argument is the why of the paper. So what, why do I want to write this paper? What is your main argument? What are your subclaims? And you may have several arguments in the paper. For example, you may have a methodological argument as well as an overall research argument. Do you have evidence? Have you included counterclaims to show that you have a balanced scholarly approach? And you might even qualify your arguments in the end to show that you've taken into account these counterclaims. The last layer is the key message. And this is really the focus of your paper. Uh, the key message is the overall message that you want to get across in this piece of writing. So if someone were to cite your paper, they would say this paper is about and that would be your key message. And key messages can be written in different ways. For example, they can be speculative, tentative, or they can be confident based on the evidence of your research, or they could just state the message as accepted fact. So again, brainstorm through using mind maps or free writing and work out what your key message is, and then this can become a focus for the whole paper. So as I've been saying throughout the video, use mind maps, concept maps, and free writes to help you draft your initial thoughts and then build on those thoughts by bringing in your notes and your readings and the connections you can make between things. So you want to write bits and pieces which will then help you build the finished product. By breaking up these different tasks or these different elements, you can concentrate on each separately before you pull them together into a coherent whole. 
So let's go over the key points of this video. What I'm suggesting here is that we break up the different layers that go into a paper. And I, I always suggest going back to the problem purpose statement at the beginning because this is foundational. Then moving on to the research article and have a look at the genre and your targeted journal and make a note of the different sections and what goes into those sections in published articles. Think about the bare bones, which is the what. What are the essential things that have to go into this paper so that your reader will understand what you're trying to say? The next layer is the narrative. This is the story. How do you want to tell the story, even though you have an overall structure? What do you want to put in the beginning? How do you want to end it? Think about the argument. This is the why. This is what makes you passionate about your research. What claims are you making and can you support them? Think about your key message, which is your focus, and use concept maps and free writes to help you compose these sections. So what I'm suggesting here is that you don't wait until you're ready to write. You write your way into the paper. Write bits and pieces and rewrite these notes into larger sections, more coherent larger sections. Once you have a draft, then just revise that draft until it is much more coherent. And if at any point you get stuck, go back to the separate elements and build from there. Writing a paper for publication is quite a complex process, so we've provided you with a fair amount of resources here so that you can read further if you want to. Thank you for watching this video on writing the research article, which is part of our series on publishing a research article.